Hey guys, so um, I think I might have mentioned this briefly in a, a vlog or something, but um, I'm going to be redoing the room here that I typically film in, and I'm so excited about it because um, A, it's always been like a dream of mine <laughs> to have like a home library, like a specific area where I can keep my books in like sit and read and just like enjoy the space. It's just been like a dream of mine for real. Um, and we've been in this house for almost six years <laughs> and you know, we had a lot of other projects and stuff that we had to do, but it's finally my turn and I'm finally going to get this room, um, the way that I want it. So I thought I would take you guys on the journey since it is going to be my new little, my new little reading space. Um, so I'm going to start by just giving you kind of a before tour of what this room looks like now. And then you're going to go through the process with us. We're going to be um, painting in here. Um, we're going to be replacing the flooring. I'm going to get some new shelving and it's just going to be, it's going to be fun. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm going to flip you around really quick and give you a quick tour of the room before because we're going to start like moving stuff out of here and everything. So I wanted to get that done now. Um, yeah, so you can see the full transformation. So let me flip you around. All right, so this is like an overview of the room. Um, as you can see, it's kind of hodgepodgey right now. There's not, there's not a whole lot going on in this room. Um, these are obviously my lovely bookshelves. Um, they are really overcrowded right now. And hopefully this uh, new, the new shelving and stuff will definitely solve that problem for me. Um, this is the color that I'm going to be painting it. It's really pretty. Um, I have, of course, had to do like a test color. I did another test color over here just to make sure that it was going to go with the flooring. So this is the flooring. Um, let me move this, all this good stuff. So I don't know if you can even see it really. It's the same flooring that we put in our living room and we were really happy with it. It's just like Pergo, like laminate. Um, so we think that's going to work a lot better for us um, having pets and kids that it would hold up a little better than actual hardwood. So um, yeah, that's the flooring. This is my record player stand that I got from, um, where did I order this from? Wayfair. And I just haven't put it together, but it's just a white record player stand. I'm really excited about that. Um, Cody's crate, we're going to be moving uh, to the living room because I don't think it'll really work in here. Um, after we do everything, but he definitely needs to be crated because he is a very nervous guy and we have to like lock him up when we leave and stuff because he gets real destructive. And then this is like my TBR cart. Um, so these are all unread books. What this is going to be like when the room is done is it's going to be kind of a, um, an end table for me. I'm going to put it by my reading chair and kind of have like my TBR books on it and then, but also have a place to like set out on a cup of coffee or something if I want to sit down to read. I just think it would be cute and kind of like a way to make it like dual purpose. Um, this desk is going bye-bye. Um, we actually, when we first moved in, we had two of these desks and they were like boom, boom next to each other. And um, we moved one down to the basement and that's now where the computer and everything is. And we kind of realized that we didn't need both, um, that we could fit everything onto just one. So we're going to be getting rid of this. Um, and then what's going to happen, what else can I show you? All these lovely toys, um, I'm hopefully going to move to the basement because that's where like the majority of the kids' toys are anyway. So I'm going to hopefully get rid of all those. And then behind the door, I have, we have this bookcase that has, um, all of our like old college textbooks and stuff on it. And we want to keep them for one reason or another, more so my husband wants to keep his so we're going to move, the plan is, um, we're going to be getting rid of these shelves. Um, we're going to keep two of them. We're going to move them to the basement and we're going to put these books on those shelves. And then we also have like, um, a couple video game systems and stuff that we want to hook up in the basement. And so those two shelves will house all that stuff. And then this bookcase, I'm going to move upstairs to like, kind of, we have like a little landing at the top of the stairs. I'm gonna move it up there and put um, all the kids' books uh, on it. Um, Cause they both have books in their room 
uh, but they're outgrowing those as well so they're going to need a space to put some books so that's what they're going to use up there and then um, this blanket rack which I love it looks like crap right now but because <laughs> it's just like the blankets are not laid on there nicely but um one of my best friends, her dad actually made this for us um, as a housewarming gift when we bought our first house. And I love it. It's super like sturdy and heavy. We're going to be moving it um, to the basement because there's just more room for it down there. Um, yeah. And that chair, I don't even know what that chair is doing here. So yes. Um, so the plan is this, this wall here where all this stuff is, is going to be basically like a wall of bookshelves. Um, my father-in-law is really handy and he is going to actually make them for me um because we really like debated and went back and forth about what type of bookcase to get um where they would hold up and not sag and stuff and we kind of decided that maybe just making them would be better so he's going to make them i'm so excited um they're gonna go floor to ceiling and it's gonna be this whole wall so i'm just so stoked oh it's gonna be awesome um and they're gonna be white and then that wall color, obviously, in the flooring. Because um, then over on this wall, where the bookcases are currently, um, I'm going to have my record player set up and um, possibly my chair. I'm not really sure. I haven't even bought my chair yet. I have to kind of figure that out, what kind of style I want and stuff. I know I want it to be comfy and something I can really just sink into and read for a while. So I got to shop around for sure. But it might kind of go over here. And then the record player stand, I'm not really sure yet. I'll have to play around with it. And then these doors we're actually also going to be replacing because um, right now they're just like solid. So when you close them, um, you know, they're just kind of there. And I kind of want the ones that have like the panes, you know, where it will be like like that with, with panes. So even when the doors are closed, you can see into this room because... Um, when you walk into our house, our front door is right here. So it's like, this is like the first room that you see. And so I'm really excited to get it to like how I have envisioned it for the past five years, almost six years. Um, it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so basically we have to get rid of this desk. We got to move the crate. Um, my little book cart I'm going to put in my room for now because I'm going to be packing up all of my babies. All of my bookish babies are going to be packed away until this project is complete um, because, yeah, there's just no way um, they'll be safer that way. So, yeah, we need to, like, clear out this room and get started, get rid of this carpet that is just beat up. It's just so bad. Um, yeah. It's going to be really fun and I'm excited to take you guys on the journey with me. So I think the next step, like I said, is to clear out this room and then paint the walls. That beautiful bluish, tealish, grayish wall. This is not showing you the actual color, but it's, it's going to be pretty. All right. So, um, I just filmed my last video in front of these beautiful these beautiful bookcases and now it's time to say goodbye to them I am gonna start um, packing up my books today putting them in boxes for the time being and yeah I'm not gonna have bookshelves for a little bit it's gonna be weird but um yeah I'm gonna pack it up and move on all right so we have made some progress um, the books are gone for now and we just sold the desk this morning uh, to somebody online and so they came and picked it up. And we have a few things to clear out still. Um, we moved that bookcase that was in this corner is gone. So yeah, we are getting ready to start really like tearing up the carpet and all that stuff. So, hi Mimi. Hi Mimi girl. <laughs> so yeah. This is the update, so yeah.
So we are about halfway through the, meh, maybe not halfway through, the remodel process of my new home library. I'm so excited. Um, painting is done and my husband and my father-in-law are going to be doing flooring hopefully tomorrow. So I'm trying to put together my record player stand and um, it's going to look like this, this little cartoon drawing here. Um, and the um, pieces, let me show you really quick. And the pieces are, well, there are many. They're just kind of scattered all over. Um, I like putting furniture together. I find it to be oddly uh, therapeutic and fun. But this one, it does say that the difficulty meter is between easy and tough. So we're gonna find out. It also says, under helpful hints, people needed for assembly one to two. Well, we're gonna go for one because I'm up for a challenge, challenge accepted. And it says it, assembly time one hour, also challenge accepted. Let's do this. Step one is almost complete and I, it only took me 15 minutes. <laughs> Listen, you can't rush these things. We have to do it right. But I think it's safe to say I am not going to have this built in one hour. So it's many hours later, and I'm still not done with this thing. One hour to assemble, Pfft. try like two, three hours and counting, cause I'm not done. So I give up for the day. I'm gonna um, assemble the drawers. There's two little drawers that go on the top. I'm gonna assemble that tomorrow because I'm just done. I'm just done. Just assembling the, um, or not assembling, um, <laughs> attaching the backing to this like this part took me like 45 minutes because let me tell you um, all 21 of those screws had to be screwed in and there was no um, pre-drilled holes so it was kind of a nightmare luckily this thing's cute because ugh, I'm not gonna lie it's kind of a pain in the ass <laughs> We are getting to the most exciting part for me, and that is the bookshelves. Um, we had a few like minor hiccups along the way, like any home project is going to have. Um, sorry if I'm echoey, because I'm standing kind of in the room where it's just echoey. But um, the walls, we had to paint them, repaint them. Um, because the second coat, we did the first coat, and it looked, it looked good, but it needed another coat. Hi, Leia. Yeah. Um, and when we went to do the second coat, my husband had gone to the store and had to get another gallon of the paint. And the base color, like the base paint, was a different brand. And so when we painted the second coat, it was a lot lighter. Like, it was a whole shade lighter. And I was like, uh, I don't like it. Yeah. So, um, 
so we had to repaint the walls. So it, was, it got three coats of paint, <laughs> but now like the wall color is gorgeous. Like I'm happy with it. And then we, um, when we re put the new doors on, we want to reinforce them a little more. Um, and I'll show you in a second because they're sliding doors, which is awesome. But the track that they're on, um, we just feel like it needs a little bit more support. Um, even though it was installed properly and everything, um, towards the middle where the doors meet, it's not quite as stable. So like when you close the doors, there's a huge gap at the bottom. Um, so there's definitely like something up with that. So my father-in-law is on the case. Um, he's been amazing through this whole process. And so, yeah, um, that's something that we're still kind of working on. And then, but today, um, the bookcases are going to be put in <laughs> and I'm so excited because obviously this is like the like high point of this room for me um I'm gonna have double the shelf space that I had before and it's just like I'm so excited um my husband is actually because my father-in-law uh, built the bookcases so um he built four of them and we have two of them here and they're bringing the other two now so um that's where my husband is he's uh, at my father-in-law's they're loading them up and they're bringing them back so yeah, I'm so excited, um, but I thought I'd update you guys that, you know, we've had some hiccups. It happens, but we're getting to the real exciting part. Hi. So let me, uh, I guess, show you real quick what the room looks like. It's kind of a hot mess right now. So this is the room. These are the bookcases, two of them. So each one has seven shelves, which is so cool. Oh, look at my kitty. Look at her, she found a box to sit in. They always do, don't they? And she says, if I fit, I sit. Right, girl? You like that box? But she oh, can't. Oh, now she's spooked. Okay. Oh, that, okay. that stuff messed up. But anyway, so these are the doors. Um, they're yep. amazing. I have to peel. These are glass panes. Um, Leah, please don't play with them. But I have to take all that no, off. But yeah, they slide. Guys, 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 Hunter, please be careful. Please be careful. So yeah, they're and I'll, awesome. And I'll show you the way how you do it. But we want to just reinforce them a little more on yeah, the track. Okay, go ahead. And I'll show Gently. You. This, this is the way how they work. Mm -hmm. they how it works. My dreams have come true. My bookcase is built and completed um, and it is gorgeous and I love it so much. I'm so, so excited and so grateful to my father-in-law who built it and it looks amazing. Um, so now the exciting part is getting my books back on the shelves, um, which I've kind of started doing already, which I'll show you guys in a minute. but. Um, Typically, the way I've been organizing my books uh, that I think works the best for me is to just do it by genre. Um, it's just easier, I think, to uh, to find books and things like that, and it looks good and everything. It just makes sense. So that's probably the way I'm going to restock, reshelve them, um, because that's how they were before. But uh, I kind of already started, so I'll flip you around and show you what I have so far. It's not much, <laughs> and I'm definitely going to have some empty shelf space, which is a good thing because that means I have lots of room to grow, which is the whole point of getting this big bookcase. So let me flip you around really quick. So there she is in all her beautiful glory. Um, so yeah, I started putting some books up. Over here uh, are my Goosebumps books, which... If you guys have watched my Goosebumps video, I have decided to reread the series and I've been collecting them. I have about half. Um, 
So yeah, I'm going to keep them up there because I think once I'm done reading the series, I'm not going to necessarily need to access them a whole lot. <laughs> They're more kind of just a collector thing. Um, and then down here are my Harry Potter books um, and my Harry Potter things. So I have my wand from Ollivanders and then my chocolate frog box. I totally ate the chocolate frog, but I kept the box. And then the illustrated editions, which I think, if I remember right, I think the Goblet of Fire came out today. So yeah, I need to pick that baby up. Um, so my plan is to kind of put all of the illustrated ones on this shelf. And then these are just the hardcover, you know, ones. This is just a cute wand that I had from my uh, friend's bachelorette party. We did a Harry Potter theme and we all got wands. It was really fun. And then this basket is just a basket I think I'm going to keep here as like a place filler. Um, I'll probably put like some of my camera stuff in there, like my camera, my um, charger, and all that kind of stuff um, so that it's not just like chilling on the shelves. And then up here, um, move the ladder out of the way. This thing is so cool, by the way. I feel like Belle from Beauty and the Beast when I get up on this ladder, no joke. But anyways, um, those books up there are my husband's. Um, and I put them up there because, well, let's be real, he's never gonna read them. So yeah, that's basically what I have so far. I don't really know exactly where I'm gonna end up putting everything. I'll probably keep my TBR books like on these lower shelves just for easy access. But yeah, um, I'll let you guys know what I come up with. So here we go. Here is the finished product. Um, as you can see, I still have a lot of room to grow, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, but to give you like a quick tour, um, I ended up moving the Harry Potter shelves up um, because I don't know, I just thought it looked better that way. Um, so just real quickly, um, this shelf is my middle grade YA. Then I just have a cute little basket, it's like a placeholder. Then this shelf is um, like sci-fi, fantasy, um, what do you call it? Sci-fi, fantasy, uh, dystopia, um, end of the world type stuff, apocalyptic, all that kind of stuff is on that shelf. Um, this is just like random books. And then all the way at the bottom, I have um, graphic novels, um, short story collections, and poetry. And then over here are all of my historical fiction books. Um, and then this shelf is like contemporary and like lit, just kind of like literary fiction type stuff. Um, this shelf here is um, like fairy tale and like retellings of fairy tales. And then I have classics on this shelf and they carry over onto this shelf. And I'm so glad that I get to display this again because I just love the cover of this book. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. Um, and I have my Mad Tea Party candle. <laughs> and then this is my Stephen King shelf which um, carries over a little bit into this shelf because they just don't all fit on one shelf. But I wanted them all kind of grouped together. And then if you go down here, these are like mystery, thriller, horror. Um, as is the shelf here. It's also mystery, thriller, horror. Um, and then I have two shelves of um, nonfiction. So there's these. And then they carry over onto this shelf and then the bottom shelves um these three bottom shelves that go across are all of my tbr books all my unread books so eventually they will move up into their rightful genre rightful place but for now they're gonna stay down there so yeah i think it turned out really really well it took a while <laughs> to get it kind of figured out I do want to get a few more little like knick-knacky type things to kind of fill the empty spaces. Um, but yeah, otherwise I think it looks, I think it looks really cool and I really love it. So <laughs> the next step is to find a reading chair. Hey guys, so um, I have been looking for a chair. We have gone to three stores and I still haven't found the one. You know what I mean? I feel like Goldilocks. <laughs> it's, it's, they're either like, 
too hard or too soft or the, the color isn't right or whatever. So I'm still hunting for one. There is one more store I want to go to, hopefully today or tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I'll be finding my chair. Um, but in the meantime, I decided I'm going to go ahead and um, set up my record player because uh, the stand has been sitting here empty for some time. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up and all that. And then, um, yeah, hoping also to get a rug. Um, I saw one at Target a while, uh, a while back that um, I saw that was smaller. That if it has it in the size I want, I might get that. If not, I'll have to find something else. But it was really cute, so I hope that they have it in the size I need. So it's just a matter of going to Target, which, I mean, Target is life. I go there all the time, so it shouldn't be hard to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to work on that. I thought I'd give you guys a little update on the room. Because um, once I get that chair and a couple other little knickknacks, I can show you the, you know... The completed project or whatever so I am working on it um, I did see a couple at um, a store last night but they I would have had I would have to special order them to get them the color that I want um, which is like a six to eight week wait which is fine if that's what I have to do but if I can find one that I don't have to wait six to eight weeks for that'd be cool so I will keep you guys updated on that and in the meantime I'm gonna set up my record player So it has been about four weeks since I last updated for this vlog because I found a chair that I really liked, but to get it in the color I wanted, I had to special order it. And they said it was going to take six to eight weeks to get here, but it only took four, so that's exciting. And it came in today. So we get to go pick it up today and I'm so excited because it's really going to like complete my room and I can finally start reading in here because I don't have any furniture in here that I can, you know, can sit on to read. And so I haven't been able to like really enjoy my space yet. So I'm so excited to get my chair um, so I can really start using this room for its intended purpose. So um, yeah, I will update you guys when I get my chair and um, also give you like a final look at my new reading room. There she is. Hello, chair. All right, so I am so excited because my chair is here, which means I can start reading in this room and enjoying this room. I can start filming in here again because I got a rug. Um, let me show you really quick. I tried to film in here without a rug and it was really echoey. So I had to wait till I got a rug. So yeah, I got this rug at um, Target. Yeah, so. Yeah, and I love it. It's it's just totally my vibe. So yeah, um, just to kind of recap, let me turn you guys back around again. So this is what the finished product looks like. Um, so I'm gonna try to do like some before and after pics, but yeah, this room is exactly what I wanted and what I envisioned, and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to really start enjoying the space. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah, you guys, I just wanted to, um, if my husband and my father-in-law are watching this, thank you guys so, so much. You literally have made my dreams come true. This is, this is like what I have been dreaming of since I was a kid. I've always wanted to have like a special reading room and here it is. So it would not have happened without those two wonderful men. So thank you guys so much. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, it has been quite an experience, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been great, and I'm so excited. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, my hopefully, should be my next video, I'll be able to film in front of my books again, which is so exciting because I have missed it so much. Um, 
So yeah, look out for that. And yeah, I will talk with you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.